Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here and welcome to DCS World 1.5 and Leatherneck Sims MiG-21 BIS module. Today I'm going to demonstrate rocket, uh, unguided rocket attacks in the MiG-21 BIS. I've set up some trucks just down the road over there to our left and we're going to engage them using the UB-16 UM rocket pods which contain S5 unguided rockets. So, yeah, I've got the aircraft in active pause just now, so that we can go quickly over the, the setup for this type of attack. Uh, we want to run left to right on the upper panel here, and make sure that our master mode switch is into ground, our missile switch is in neutral, our pylon selector is round to this position here. This position is for rockets, and it allows you to actually choose the salvo length. So, so we've got uh, 4, 8 and 16 as available uh, salvo lengths. I'm going to go for 8 because these are 16 um, these are 16 rocket pods uh, and so that allows us to make two attacks with these pods. Now something to note with the rocket pods is that when you have a salvo uh, number selected that actually triggers a release of uh, a, that number from all of the pods that's currently on the aircraft. So you, I've got a two pod set up here. If you have a four pod set up just note that you are going to fire all four pods simultaneously. So anyway, we're going to go with a, an 8 uh, for the, the salvo length. Now the ASP, the gun sight, needs to be set up. Uh, it actually already is. You want to make sure that your top switch is in launch, your middle switch is in shoot, your bottom switch is in auto. Target size for air to ground, I would normally pop that on 10 meters, so we'll leave that there. Uh, note that on the gun sight we're going to be using the bottom uh, range scale, uh, so we want to be launching the rockets basically as soon as the needle starts to move. Uh, anything from about 1.8 um, kilometers down is good. Once we get down to about 0.8 of a kilometer, we probably want to break off the attack. Uh, but there is this warning light on the right here, which will illuminate red when it is time to break off the attack. When we're in parameters, this launch light here on the left will be red. Uh, red. So um, this one will start off illuminated red when we're good to attack and then this one will pop on when it's time to break off. Um, we should perhaps even look at breaking off before that light comes on and we'll see how things go. So that completes the setup of um, of the kind of weapon selection switches on the top here. Now if we go down behind the joystick I'm going to set my danger altitude to 250 meters. That's when the tone will come on warning us that we should really pull up about now. And on the radar I'm going to set it into uh, beam mode so that we get ranging information from the radar. That's what will actually drive this range uh, scale on the ESP. Okay, and just for the, the purposes of fencing in, I'm going to turn off my navigation lights. I'm going to turn on the power switches here, which will actually allow us to make use of our ASO pods. I've got those fitted today. Um, and I will flip the cap for launching the countermeasures just in case we have any requirement to do that. Um, okay, and at that stage, I think we are ready to go. So I'm going to unpause, just like so. I'm going to throttle up. I want to be maintaining around about 600 kilometers an hour uh, during my run-in, and I want to be starting my attack from a height of more than 2,000 meters. So we'll just get the aircraft throttled up in a position. Uh, our target vehicles are just at the kink in the road there. So I'm going to try and make a turn that will allow us to strafe right down the centre of that road. Gained a little bit of height there, which is good. And we'll just bring ourselves around. Now something that you have to be very careful about during these types of attack is that we want to maintain the aircraft in positive G as much as possible. The, uh, the fuel system in the MiG-21 does not like negative Gs and will very quickly get a flame out, which uh, you know, obviously during a during run into an attack is not particularly ideal. To roll so I can get some visibility down there. I think that's actually about right, so I'm going to throttle back to below 80%, probably about 75. I'm going to roll over to try and maintain the aircraft in positive G and line ourselves up. We just want to get that pepper on the target, and then once we get our launch light, we want to fire and then pull away immediately. There, I'm firing and pulling away, throttling up to full, and I'm going to give it a bit of a roll as well. Now be very careful not to exceed 5G during your pullout, because that will cause the rocket pods to detach from the pylons, 
just going to look over my shoulder and see if I actually achieved anything there. That did kind of look like a miss. Yeah, that did kind of look like a miss. But hey, we have another pass. So let's see if we can do any better the next time. So, we're going to regain that altitude. That's me almost back at uh, 2000. We've almost got the speed back. I'm going to kill the burners and just maintain mill power for now. Just continue to climb a bit more and then we'll get ourselves back round for another pass. Now, it was all a bit quick, so I'll see if I can slow it down for you a little bit on the second pass. But we want to be keeping an eye, like I said, on this bottom range scale with the, the white part of the needle. Uh, it's pretty much as soon as that starts moving we're in range, we're looking out for the left hand red launch light uh, and then we're also watching out for the red, red, uh, right hand red light which will tell us when it's time to break off the attack, that's at 2200. So at this stage I'm happy to pull around and line up for another pass. This time let's see if we next to hit something. I think I was rushing a little. Targets in sight. Okay, so just about have the kink in the road visible again. Let's make sure that uh, we're looking at the right targets. Yep, that is them. That's them right there. Okay, so we're going to bring her around. Throttle back, roll in, and let's see if we can get it this time. Let's see that throttle is 75%. And we're taking a slightly shallower angle this time, this should give us a bit more time to react. And waiting for the red lights. Not quite pointed down the road this time, but anyway, we'll try our best. Try to kick it with the rudder. Red light firing. Oh, I think that might have been another miss. Oh no, actually that looks alright. Okay. Using the rudder to kick me around. That's my low altitude warning. So that means I did get a bit too low. But anyway, we're out. We didn't exceed the G limit. And let's take a look. Oh yes, I definitely hit some of them that time. Definitely hit some of them that time. Fantastic. Okay, so, those are the basics of the employment of the unguided rockets in the MiG-21 AIS. I'm just going to pause very quickly and recap. So, from left to right, we want to be in ground mode, missile switch in neutral, selector, either set for a salvo of 4, 8, or 16, our gun sight set into launch, shoot, and automatic, target size at 10, down here on the radar control panel, we want the radar on, but in beam mode. And personally, I quite like to set a sensible safe altitude here. Something between sort of 200 and 300 meters is probably a good setting. So I know if I get a tone, I've done something wrong. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.